Eye on Earth tonight, a new report suggests that sea levels are rising at a dramatic rate. University of Miami scientists warn we'd better act soon or coastal cities and towns will slowly diminish. We want to go now to CBS 4's Ashley Dyer. She joins us live from downtown Miami tonight. And Ashley, for all of us living here in South Florida, this is a really scary thought. As it should be, Naja and Jim, scientists say a few decades from now, downtown Miami, right where we're standing, will be underwater. They say the reality is the tide is coming in and eventually it won't go back out. Here's the Miami International Airport right here. These images visualizing the alarming reality of what's to come. This is real. This isn't something that might happen in the future. He's talking about climate change and sea level rise. Dr. Harold Walness is an expert on the topic. The problem is that sea level's rising at an accelerating rate now because of ice melt in Greenland and Antarctica. It's now just a high tide. It's going to be a rare high tide. It's going to become a frequent high tide. So what does that mean for us? In this case, pictures speak louder than words. The image on the left is Miami-Dade County today. The one on the right is Miami-Dade County once sea level rise reaches six feet. When will sea level rise get to six feet? I could be within 50 years. Wanless's research predicts by the year 2060, nearly 60% of Miami-Dade County will be underwater. Now as the ice melt started, we're up to a rate at almost two feet per century. Scientists say greenhouse gases like methane, nitrous oxide, and carbon dioxide are the root of the problem. Carbon dioxide, that's the main gas. Every time you burn oil, gas, coal, wood, you're taking carbon that was stored in the earth and burning it to CO2. Over 90% of the extra heat we have created with these greenhouse gases is transferred to the ocean. So global warming is really warming the ocean. Wanless says not only do we have to stop putting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, we have to remove the gases already out there. Otherwise, he says, our coastal paradise won't last forever. It's a beautiful place to live right now, but some of it is just so vulnerable. And you know, we saw that flooding yesterday and the rain is picking up again right now. Another alarming thing that Dr. Walness mentioned to me was flooding. Right now, we think of it as a temporary thing, but picture permanent flooding on our roadways and properties. He says what we do now will dictate what happens in the future. Live in downtown Miami, Ashley Dyer, CBS 4 News. Mm.